like something that I didn't get to do while I was in uh, the hospital or my chemo. Like it means like um like just stuff that I could have done while I was in the hospital. Thank you so much for accepting me and welcoming me and making me feel like it's my second home. I've made so many friends through the cancer support community and I've been to so many events and it's just a nice reprieve from all the medical drama in my life. <laughs> I feel like it's a good thing for a lot of kids who don't really get to go out and do stuff. I'm excited for him. Yeah, I know he's a little nervous, but he's very excited to attend the prom. Feeling great. So we're ready to uh, go to prom. Thank you. Have fun. Just. It's just wonderful. It just makes me feel happy for for her that she can be normal, you know, with everybody else that has been through cancer with her. If you want to try I've been so excited since the day we found out, so I can't even say how excited I am. I just want to say thank you for these events that they made. This is our annual prom for teens impacted by cancer. Any type of cancer, whether it's them or a loved one in their family, or if they're a caregiver to a loved one in a family. So it's a chance to be a normal teen at a great prom. We have some volunteers helping us with uh, some crafts and decorations for our 10th annual prom for teens impacted by cancer. So they're making some wands and some hanging decorations that are going to um, dress up the place for our Harry Potter themed prom. Here we are at Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy and all of our teens, we have about 70 here today. They're getting ready for the day, they're getting their hair done, their makeup, their nails, they're getting dressed, and shortly we'll hop on the bus and head over to Cancer Support Community Arizona for the prom itself, where we'll have a formal dinner and dancing and lots of games. It'll be a really fun time. All of our teens are impacted by cancer, so some of them are in active treatment, some of them are survivors, and some of them are caregivers of people with cancer, so their parents, grandparents, that kind of thing. Uh, and this is a space for them to be themselves and connect with one another and create community with other teens who understand what, what it means to be a young person going through cancer. It's an honor. It's an honor. Personally, I feel so blessed to be with Cancer Support Community Arizona and to secure funding for events like this and to see that funding from others in action today.
At some point, for all of us, cancer will touch our lives, if not directly, then indirectly. So know that Cancer Support Community Arizona is here. We've been here for 20 years, and we offer free psychosocial support services, along with fun events, education, and connections. So learn about us by visiting our website, cscaz.org, and become involved in whatever manner and at whatever time we welcome you.